Hello, Whetstone Radio listeners. We have a special and urgent audio dispatch for you today. It is an interview with C.W. Mallory, a black farmer in El Paso County, Colorado, who, along with his wife, Nicole, live on a thousand acre ranch that they call Freedom, yet live in terror. They are the victims of racial violence from some of their neighbors, and they are seeking support. This is an urgent conversation, as I said, and CW has provided information on how you can support his family. There is a petition, which we'll have in the show notes. They are also seeking monetary support via Cash App at Black Farmland. And of course, you can listen to this episode and share with friends, family, community. Hi, I'm Farmer CW. Uh, I'm from where I, I reside right now at this moment in Yoda, Colorado, which is about 45 minutes outside of Colorado Springs. We relocated from Texas after after Hurricane Harvey. You know, that was like the second second time we had to rebuild and we were just you know we were just kind of fed up with always being flooded and we was like well hey let's start let's start new let's start new somewhere else and uh so we began looking at property it was always my dream to to farm and to get into agriculture ever since i was a kid we were always um i was always involved with agriculture you know i i would spend spend time with my grandparents out in the country you know they were farmers so you know that was always a, a part of their a part of what was going on with them part of their life was agriculture you know um growing up in the deep south for them was you know they they definitely faced the challenges of of racism and stuff like that but um you know i, I always had a love for it and you know it, it was something that i wanted to do i enjoyed helping people and just knowing where my food came from and not not being so dependent on 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 society is what you know what what I kind of liked about it my my grandparents they were pretty they were pretty self-sustained you know my grandmother she grew her own vegetables and stuff like that and uh you know we just rarely rarely went to the store but just for essentials and stuff like that and I was you know, as I got older, I, I was more appreciative of of what was going on and, and how it was taking place. And uh it just it just made me want to do want to do my part as far as, you know, giving back. That was something that I always wanted to do as far as, you know, just you know, just, you know, being able to help others. This property that I'm on now, it wasn't the the, my first choice uh, I, I had seen it and you know like many other farmers a, a, a black man that's trying to get into agriculture it um you know I, I started to see the challenges that I was that I would be facing like with USDA and F, FSA and in trying to acquire property the first two properties I went after they didn't want me to have because I was black or and well their first property that i went through with fsa they didn't want me to have because i was black the second property that i looked at they didn't well the deal was almost closed until they found out i was black and then you know then their kids and stuff like that started coming up and you know so well, that did that so hold through. on let me make sure i understand but, you were in colorado you had moved from texas you were displaced from your home because of the flood you're looking for farmland in Colorado, right? And the first time you're looking for this, you try to fund the land with the FSA loan. That doesn't work out. The second time you're able to get to the phase where the deal is about to close. So I guess you, you did, you were able to get the funding together for that. And how did, how did you, how did they not know that you were black? Like at what point, how were you able to get that far along in the deal before? Well, I, 
well, I had been I had been working with the realtor mm-hmm. only. And, then, you know, um, it, it was some so the realtor had said that the, the, the property owners wanted to show us something or wanted to come out to the property or wanted to meet us out at the property or whatnot. And I think, you know, that's that's where they firm, form their uh, opinion about us when once they set eyes on us, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, we didn't we didn't fuss or fight about it. We was like, OK, this this just ain't the place for us. then. so, you know, we we pressed on. OK, that makes sense. And so this is now your third choice where you ended up now. In El Paso County. Yes, but I, I yes, I had I had previously seen this property. We had rolled by and we revisited it. And uh when I, when we first had saw the property, it it looked at nothing like what what it looked like when we came back to it. People had began to uh use it as a dump site. Um trash tires you know that there was a structure here they had filled the whole house up full of trash and then they had began stealing stealing the utilities the water they had trenched the line to the well and ran it to another piece of property uh theft of electricity there were no boundaries let's say that no boundaries were set so once we acquired the property you know, we we began to set the boundaries, do the cleanup. Who, and, who and, was the previous uh, owner of the property that had let it get to that phase? It was it was a he he was a white guy. I'm I'm not too familiar with him. The property was in foreclosure, so he was a developer of okay. some sort. Yeah. So y'all had y'all immediately start to not set boundaries, improve the land. Right. And, Correct. and also as part of this creating boundaries, which is like a completely normal thing to do. You just acquired the, the land. And then what happened? Well, af- after the boundaries and well, you know, after we start making improvements to the land and stuff like that, then I began to, uh, you know, individuals would come by and try to, you know, well, first off, let me back all the way up. When we when we initially came onto the land, me and my wife, we would just ride around. You know, we wouldn't see anyone. Then one day as we got to a certain side of the property, we um, we 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 encountered an individual. She come she came outside and, you know was very adamant about making us, you know, getting our attention or engaging us or whatnot. And, um, you know, we, we engaged her, we spoke and, you know, the first words out of her mouth was, you know, I shoot dogs. And we were like, I was like, well, I was like, hi, I'm the new owner here. Uh, I'm, I'm, your, I guess your new neighbor, so to speak or whatnot, you know, and she, she carried, she continued on to tell me she shoot dogs and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you know, I I have a few livestock guardian dogs, you know, um, just to make her aware, I guess that it, it was, it was a weird, it was a weird, it was a weird, it was a weird greeting. You know what My I'm brother, saying? That is a not weird, a greeting a weird... at all. That is, not, <laughs> that is no greeting. <laughs> That's a warning. That was a weird. Yeah, that's a that that's you know later to come find out. You know she stood true on her words and you know, but um, yeah that that was the first encounter. Uh, you know, me and my wife rode away from that. Rode away from that. Um, you know, we had a conversation. It was like, wow, man, she she may be a potential problem or. You know what I mean? We got to watch ourselves when we're on this end, so to speak, or whatever. You know what I mean? So we just carried on and, uh, you know, we, we got to it, man. We were we wanted to build. So, you know. We were just minding our own business. Uh, we began building, fixing fence, putting up lights, cameras, so to speak, everything, you know, 
everything here I've done with my own two hands. I, I love everything about it. Uh, uh, this has always been a dream, a dream of mine ever since I was a kid, man. I used to, I remember just taking up the whole hallway in the house with my farm animals and, you know, setting up ranches, make believe ranches and stuff like that. So now I finally had my own and I could, I could, so to speak, turn that dream, make that dream a reality and, and, and live it out. But I've just been encountering these 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 obstacles and these threats. Let's talk about it from, more, from more specifically, because I want people to understand what what happened okay. to you and what is continuing to happen. So let let the people know. Okay, uh, man, I've I've been I've been threatened with with hanging, with lynching, being blocked in my property, being burned. I've had my I've had my animals stolen. I've had you said being burned. Goats be yes, block block. They they it did they they did this on social media on Facebook. They they put a picture up of me, you know, just plastered my address and was like, hey, wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be fun to to go over and to, to lynch to do a lynching and a hanging? And and someone else said something about. Let's block them in. Let's set them on fire and stuff like that. And it was like, you know, that at that point when when, you know, when I seen that they were getting to that level, well. I, I felt like some of the behavior that they had been displaying already before before that needed to be addressed by law enforcement. But, you know, it it never it never amounted to anything. It always amounted to I, I either didn't have enough or I didn't have photos or, you know, I, I needed more to prove what I was saying. And, you know, thinking about it, you know, they this, this country has put in place things to make us feel safe authorities to make us feel safe in law enforcement but you know when you when you turn to them and you know what you what you're saying is going unanswered or not even being not even not even being investigated or you know you you began to feel as if okay if if y'all if y'all are if y'all don't want to do nothing about what I'm telling you, then you, you, that that means you you condoning and you you you're down with the you you're down with whatever they're doing, and um, it's just it's just been a real eye opener and it's been hurt it's been a been a hurtening a hurtening deal because I mean who who else do you call for help? Who else can you call for help if you can't call the local authorities to come out and help you? You then I just been feeling alone, just like a sitting target, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That like a like a punching bag that just they've allowed people, law enforcement has allowed, well, a, a particular officer, I'm gonna say, has allowed individuals has rallied the individuals in the, in the community like a like a, a modern day kkk group you know what i'm saying because he's allowing them to to do these things to me and he's 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 even i've even gotten video with out of his own his own mouth he's you know he's slandering us and he's he's telling people to stay away from us he's telling people to do this he's telling people to do that and we're like Man, we don't we never had no type of interaction with anyone around here. A uh, uh, hello, hey, how you doing for for people to be riding by, stopping, stealing, stealing flags or, or vandalizing flags or, you know, cutting my fence, driving through my fence. I've had them uh, be be just as bold as to drive through the fence and release their animals out on, on out into them into my pasture and uh and then turn around and try to accuse me of 
of animal abuse. Just they just make up all kind of things, things that I've I've never heard of. I'm being charged right now. I have charges on me that I have to that I have to answer to. Um, they've charged me with stalking for being on my own property. You know, utilizing my own property, farming on my own property. I'm I'm stalking. So, you know, that's something I have to deal with. Man, that is just so much uh infuriating information to take in. Um I I came across your story on Instagram. I think it was like maybe a week ago. It's the twenty fifth, maybe like two weeks ago. Um and I couldn't stop thinking about you. And when I was thinking about you, I was imagining you, I'm sorry to say exactly how you described, you know, out there alone, isolated, being harassed, no support, obviously from law enforcement. Um, has there been any kind of support um, from, from others um, as people have learned of your story, has there been media, um, any kind of support at all? And, um, well, let's talk about means of support either way. You know, me and my wife, we, we, we banter kind of back and forth about, you know, the, the police aren't helping us. They, there's, you know, we're, we're not, we, it's not receiving the, the type of attention it should, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we're not crazy with what was happening to us. Uh, so yeah, we, we turn to social media and, um, and yeah, man, it's, it's been amazing, you know, bringing the uh, awareness to it and, you know, just that, just that feeling of, of knowing, you know what I'm saying? That, that so many others know about your situation, you know what I'm saying? That in itself, just knowing that you're not alone, that was a big help. You know, I, 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 I can't say it enough how thankful I am for social media now that it has brought, it has, it, it, it has shed some light on what's going on here. And, and, and hopefully, you know, that, that will, will help change some things. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's you been know, two it's, weeks, you know, I'm like, I want to know something yeah. tangible, like off top, we need to um, help you get some, some funds for those legal fees for stalking on your own right. property. Right. right. Well, I, I, I have started a GoFundMe okay. and you know, that, that, like I say, I've, I've got these charges now and I got to pay a two thousand dollar bond, and 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 uh, like I say, I'm a farmer, man. I'm I'm a uh, this this is not a profession you get into to 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 get rich or to be a rich man. You know, I'm I'm not doing it. I don't I don't farm for the money. I farm for the love of it. You know, and and you know what it provides. You know, it, what are you what are you farming? Food. Are there ways that we could support? whatever your harvest is. Yes. I, 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 I raise beef cattle. I raise, I raise pigs. I raise chickens. I raise goats, ducks. Well, definitely let us know. Um, we can chat after if there's a, a way that we can help you try to get yes. online with that. But um, yeah, the, the GoFundMe. Um, let's talk about other tangible ways. Like how can we, support do we need to call um the governor's office if it's not going if you're not getting local support is there state support is it um you know money for security like how how can we really you know make you feel less less alone out there well well what i've what i've been saying with what is most important is security um you know, re re repairing a lot of the stuff that they've damaged, um, cameras, uh, just, well, I, I thought, I thought I had it under control, but you know, evidently I don't, but you know, security is, is a, is a big issue and plays a big part in it all. Have, 
have and, the uh, um oh, have oh. the cameras caught any of of the the racist vandals yes one one individual was caught and you know they they didn't want to do their job it it, it took them a while it took for it took for some somebody that wasn't part of their crew i guess this had to be somebody that was filling in for somebody that day that came out and really did their job it was like no you you came onto their property the camera had you right in front of the camera and the camera's not working after that re re regardless of that you have a restraining a restraining order on you so you, you why why would you go over there knowing that you have a restraining order long story short she went to jail and um she got out and you know it, it got it got worse you know that's when i started receiving the threats of the lynching and the hanging and blocking me in so you know doing what the, a normal individual would do i called the authorities again and i make them aware of this situation and they nothing i i don't have enough proof of it or know what i'm saying it doesn't tie back to tie back to her doing whatever she did or saying you know just a bunch of bull but you know yeah that's that's kind of like when it all started man it got it got worse after after the individual was 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 caught on camera you know and for a long time they would they would they they were saying you know that you got to get it on camera. You got to get this on camera. You got to get this on camera. Everything that the, the police officers told me to do in regards to, you know, getting these people prosecuted or, 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 or you know, just having them answer for their stuff for what they what they were doing. It always came back to or no, it was turned around that I was doing. I was doing something when I was actually doing what they told me to do. Like I've, I've been told, I've been told uh, if I keep going on a certain end of my property, I, I, well, really, they told me I'm, I should only check my fence line once a year. And I was like, what? That don't that don't make sense. Just just two weeks ago, my cows were out on the road and, and this lady was pointing something with, which I believe to be to to have been a gun so you know i immediately i put my hands up and hey don't shoot i'm just trying to get my cows off the road you know what i mean and that that went on it's 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 been you know some days man i i, I i'm surprised i'm still alive um I, I feel as if i'm being i'm being set up you know what i'm saying for them to to try and take my land because you know security cameras are just what or is just what is is said a, a security camera you know what i'm saying and and on one particular side of my property where all these incidents are happening of course i'm gonna put cameras down there because i'm i'm trying to alleviate and catch who's doing this to me but they they turn around and take my cameras and, and, and charge me for stalking. And all, all, while, all the while I'm on my property, my cameras on my property, everywhere they're stationed, they're on my property, you know, and um, there's a there's a, a, a public road, a public easement that runs between the runs between the properties to the to to the back of me you know and that that road that road is mine also but i know that it's it's there for for the other individuals to go to and from their home well one of the individuals took it upon themselves to fence off the whole road and release their animals out onto the road and didn't want to move them so i had to call the authorities like you know we can't enter in our property someone has fenced off the property and released all the animals so you know I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with stuff yeah it's 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 a lot of blatant disrespect and violating so many right a violation of so many rights it, it's 
it's it's sickening. It, it's 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 terrible, man. It's disgusting. Know what I'm saying? What I'm going through there. My my wife, she's a she's a marine. She fought for this country, you know. And one of the things that that hurt her the most is 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 just that she was like, you know, I went I went and fought for everybody here. You know what I'm saying in this country and to be treated and 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 to come back home and and to and and to have to deal with domestic terrorism on American soil, you know what I'm saying, on my own property. Yeah, she's she's been taking it tough, you know, but you know, the Marine in her keeps her keeps keeps her hard charging forward, you know. We're strong, we we we're determined, we we we're not going anywhere. You know, this this is our dream and we're gonna see it all the way through. All right, brother. Well, what's your wife's name? Uh Nicole. Nicole. Shout out to Nicole. That is an all too familiar story. But um we're gonna do what we can. So here's some takeaways and um you know and we'll we'll put this on our channels if people who know more than we do about how to be active, uh, we'll allow them to weigh in and share, but definitely know uh, we'll support and amplify the GoFundMe. You're definitely gonna need some money for your legal fees to fight all of this nonsense. You're definitely gonna need money to yes. um, repair your your fences, to put new cameras up um, for, for security. So we definitely know um, that there are a number of ways in which you should not have to, um, but we'll need to come out of pocket for this. So we'll do what we can as far as that goes. Um, and then as far as, you know, I think, sorry, go ahead, bro. Now I, I was thinking like, you know, also just a, a, a bigger presence of, of our people out here. I, I don't know. I mean, every, everybody is welcome out here. It's freedom makers ranch, you know, that's what it's all freedom about. Acres. It's freedom. I love it. How many acres of freedom you know, do you have out there in El Paso? A thousand a acres. A thousand acres of freedom. Damn. That's, that's a lot of yeah. freedom. Yeah, it's 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 beautiful, man. I'm I'm I I, I say I'm let the property chose me. I always say, you know, this land chose me. I didn't choose it, it chose me. Um the the, the views, man, just it's peaceful. You know, me and my wife, we always say, man, we want to make this a black Mecca. Come you know? on. We want our people, you know what I'm saying? We want our people to come out here, you know, let's build, let's let's build a big greenhouse so we can we can we can supply, you know, we can take care of our take care of our people, our communities, you know what I mean? Show our youth, you know what I'm saying, that 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 we play a part or we have a place in, in this agriculture industry you know what i'm saying that that's a big part of it too I, I want the younger the younger generation behind me to know know that there that this is an option because you know through this process you know me going through usda and fsa and all that going in these places there's there's nobody that looks like right. us know what I'm saying in these offices, but they but they have these programs set aside that are supposedly to help us and to get us going. But if nobody if nobody in there looks like us, then how how do we achieve that? We we still we still being forego forego a lot of, a lot of opportunities, know what I'm saying, that the government says that they have put in place to help black farmers and to educate black farmers. But if, if we can't, if we can't even, we can't even get to first base, then, then how do we even make it possible? What more do you need to hear? You know what I'm saying? Like it is wild. It is wild that you and Nicole are going through what you're going through in 2023 and um i feel like a we definitely about to get the gofundme amplified um b i want to talk to you off after the fact about 
um, what it would look like to bring people out there, you know, what that experience could be like. Keep fanning the flames as much as possible um, until until you feel secure on your own property. Well, I, I'm I'm also I'm also putting together a, a, a pull up or a, a rally on on February seventeenth, twenty twenty three, down in Denver at the Capitol. Okay. I'm 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 asking I'm asking for I'm, I'm protesting for the removal of Officer Gearhart. Who, who has immobilized this community to act in such a manner that they are and, 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 and ask that everything that he's come into contact with be, be investigated, you know, and that he be charged as well for false, for false reporting or just making up charges. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a crooked officer. And he's he's been kind of the ringleader around all of this because without him, they they he's he's like he's he's deputized he's deputized these these locals like they're like this a, a, a modern day KKK thing where they think they can do what they want to me and get away with it because they have him in pocket or he's the only officer that's that's gonna respond to the call. It's, it's, man, it's been, it's been a lot, man. And it's been hard. You know, like I say, I've been hung up on by nine one one. Um, it's, it's, it's been difficult. It, like, like I say, my, my patience, I've been praying a lot, you know, for, to, to God to continue to, to, you know, just keep me loaded with the patience. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to deal with and to get through this because I, I I don't know how I've lasted this long, you know, and it's, 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 it's a, it's a struggle. It's a challenge, but like I say, they, they don't know me and I'm determined and I'm not going anywhere. Like I say, if they definitely, if they have a problem with me, with just me and my wife, just us to wait till there's two thousand of us out here living on this land, because I that that's my that's my goal. I want to turn this into a community. You know what I mean? They're they're building. Matter of fact, maybe maybe forty five minutes to an hour away. They just not not as much land as as what we have but they're building a, a, a small community and i was thinking like well man that's something that i could do on my land you know what i mean i like reaching out through social media i've i've gotten ideas people have like have you thought about um starting your own police department or getting your own uh you can have your own um i guess police department on your land or whatever because like it, it was something saying i'm not sure but if you have over 50 acres or something like that you could you could apply to have your own the police department or or apply to you know police yourselves out there and i was like well, well man that'll be great like i say i've been i've been building cabins here and there uh In, in, in spite of all the all the torment and torture and the harassment that I go through, I'm I'm still pushing forward, and that that may be the cause of my problems, but I'm gonna continue to build and and do what I need to do to save to save lives in our community for my people, because you know when the pandemic hit. You know, I got out there, we passed out meat, we put together boxes of food, you know, we went to our people in our communities, you know, to our elders, the seniors were suffering, you know, as well as, as well as, you know, in, in the black communities were suffering, you know, not everybody was able to make it to the store. If you were, even if you were able to make it to the store, it wasn't, the shelves were looking bare and, 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 and beat up. And I was like, well, dang, you know, shoot, we got, we got plenty of eggs. We got plenty of eggs. We got plenty of chickens. You know, we process our own chickens and, 
you know, uh, you know, we make goat milk. We do the goat milk. We got soap. So, you know, we were, you know, I, I, we, we got out there and we gave back and, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed doing it and I felt a, a more of a need. And then I was like, well, you know, I would like for people to come out and I could show them, you know, you know, this this is this is how this is produced. You know what I mean? Especially our youth. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't take it don't take a thousand acres. It don't take, you know. 20 acres or whatever to 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 be able to to self-sustain yourself anybody can raise some chickens in their backyard and get eggs and you know it's it's all about how far you willing to go but you know yeah i just i i i love what i'm doing and i i just you know for the most part i, I don't understand what 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 is happening to me you know i mind my own business you know, I don't like I say, I, I I don't understand how I haven't said anything to anyone and I'm being persecuted in such a manner and, and torment. I think we all understand why. It's yeah, I know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um well brother, I, I really appreciate you taking time this morning um to share your story with us. And um, we'll we'll put this out as soon as possible with um, some information about you know s specifics about how people can support you, and then uh, let you and I connect around a couple of those other things, um, including how we can buy some of that beef or goats soap or whatever, <laughs> all that yeah, stuff too. Yeah. So I um, really appreciate your time. We'll be thinking about you. Thank you. Uh, no, Stephen, thank you. I appreciate it.